Hello. The Barstool Yak. Welcome back. Thank you for joining us. I'm here with Roan, KB, and Kate here off to my right. Maybe a Hello. maybe a unique crew, maybe a first timer. This crew, yeah, I think it is. Yakagami. I think it may be a Yakagami. Before we talk about anything, have we talked about Roback? I was waiting for you to sit down, because you are the voice of Roback. This morning, I'm pulling on my favorite joggers. I was like, man, let me make sure that these are Roback, because they're sponsored by, the, obviously, Roback sponsors the Yak. Mm -hmm. I pull them on. They are Roback. For two years straight, my favorite joggers have been Roback. And I'm just living in this Roback world of enhanced comfort with the performance joggers. We love Roback. Best fit, best feel, quality, comfort, material. Everything's just top notch. In fact, me and KB have a side chat where we talk about the quality of Yo uh, of Roback's clothing. Add me. No. What would you say? It, I love it. Would you I would say I love it. I think it's the the best fit. It's the best feel. It's high tech. They have every color I like. We already said that. And they don't have the colors I don't like. <laughs> okay, we didn't add that part to the group chat, so you might be a welcome addition to it because there's just so much good stuff. They don't have the colors Nick doesn't like, but they also have performance hoodies, softest hoodies that we that we own out here. And, man, they go with the jogger so well. There's rarely a more comfortable combo. Use code YAK on Roback.com for 20% off your first purchase through the end of this week. That's R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com, 20% off performance hoodies, joggers, polos with code YAK. Get ready for the spring with Roback. Nice. There we go. Uh, later in the episode, we're going to have John Rich pop in, who's dropping a video today of a secret project he's been... He's been working on. Bring him in now for all uh, I give a he, shit. He's on, uh, he's on uh, Light's camera right now. Oh. Son shit. of a bitch. Double booked him. Anyone else? Any prospects out there? Yeah, I wouldn't mind scouting the office. So yeah. this man right here talking to Ebony, if we can cut to him. Uh, he gave me a flash drive with his buddy's music. <laughs> uh, he has his own music. He's a rapper himself. He's a rapper himself. style. Uh, his buddy's name is Punchline Q, I believe, which is a great rap name. Yeah. But he, he's been wanting to come in. Should we have him on? I think so. He been he was just trying to sing slash rap battle me in the uh, in the lobby as so, I walked uh, in. Does he know that your rap battle is now on YouTube for what for for watch? That must he must have seen that I'm vulnerable right now. <laughs> he must have seen that I'm down some bars. I just dumped out some bars, and he wants to fucking he wants to take me out. How long does it take to replenish the bars? Um. When like a concerted effort, am I drilling for bars or am I just passively the wells filling up? I think a passive replenish. I think that would take longer, but if I'm drilling, you can find you can find the the water table pretty fast. Do they drill for water? They do. They do. That's how they get water. Yeah, sometimes. Interesting article. Well, you read an article? I, I read a long read about well, it. Uh, he read a 700 wells. page book on <laughs> water. Yes. It was a delight. It was great. That seems like an easy question, trip. but it wasn't for me. It wasn't for me either. I thought wells were just kind of natural and then they built the things around it. Did you see the guy who found Dumb. a well in his like kitchen? Yes. What? He was renovating his house and it looked like a normal ass kitchen. They peeled back the thing and it was like an old like 18th century like so something like a kid would he fall found, down. He, again. Did he just move in, or he had been living there for a while? His parents, and then his parents before them had their parents before them. I thought had lived there, or did he just yeah. move in? Maybe I, I, I don't remember. Well, in the in the kitchen, it was like an, a a well ass well. A well that. ass like, well. Yeah. In one, I would have found that. <laughs> oh, you would. <laughs> you wouldn't yeah, have. I don't well, think you would. Have you ever done the experiment with clothes hangers? You bend two clothes hangers, and then you hold them real loose. And when are you, whenever you're over like hollow ground, they cross automatically. What? It's called dousing rods, I or believe. Or divining rods, divining right? Because so, yeah. it works whenever you're over a, a casket as well, because it senses when anything's hollow. Oh, huh. What? Yeah, they're awesome. Yeah. I used to work at an orphanage, and I would take the kids out <laughs> and scare them. Uh, I, we, we would make them, and I would go scare the kids. You don't think those kids are scared enough? I know, I know. <laughs> no, they aren't. They don't give a shit. They have no fear. No. Orphans? Yeah, because they, they were The worst thing that orphans. could happen happened already. They lived in our <laughs> computer yeah. classroom. and Well, outside of in a different... Our school growing up was... They would school. always r run amok. And I worked there every yeah. summer in high school. Mm -hmm. They still have orphanages? Oh, yeah. What? Uh, that has to be the number one building that burns down, right? Got to be. Well, the, the firefighters just don't bother fixing Do, it. Is, are, is firefighter a slur in Korea? Got to be. 
<laughs> I was watching that Physical 100 game show, and yeah. wait, what is that? It's like 100 of the the most brawlicky Koreans you could yeah. ever imagine. Men it's like, and women. It's they're like, like holding on to slippery it's like, poles. They're like celebrities there. Yeah. It's like Koreans if, have my favorite physique of human. They have incredible physique, and it's like if LeBron joined this show in America, some of the guys. Oh. Like the, they're best athletes. And don't they like rest? They they do like intergender wrestling. Like a woman. Yeah, that's what I just. Yeah, I'm only on episode two, yeah, but it's it on yeah. Netflix. Netflix. The hell? Yeah, it, it's it's kind of slow. They were just hanging for a while. They made two episodes out of just hanging from a bar. We've done like 700 episodes of just hanging. <laughs> <laughs> well, I was demo. just at the 400 Club meeting for uh, Yak episodes. <laughs> only as hell. Wait a minute, I'm close. Who's next? You next? The cat's next, and then I. No, bro. Like, you, they, we put in easily 500 before you guys I know, got I know. here. Yeah, bro. This, is this, you, this is YouTube. Dude, it's different. YouTube's the- different. They're, they're writing us out of history. It's an eyeball game now. You were a, you were an ear jockey. I really was. I had the yeah. It was a tough time back back then, trying to make our physical gags work. We were doing some physical shit when it was just when it was yeah. Did we, when did we start doing like sandwiches and stuff like that? Yeah, that was in um, that radio late yeah. 2020. I think, I think our first draft was radio. When did they start filming things? When did they bring cameras into the Yak Studio? We'd we always we had cameras for clips. No, we'd always had cameras for clips. Yeah, but we didn't put the whole show out in clips because we had the deal with serious. Mm. I miss those fuckers, Gonzo. They're the best. Fuck yeah! I would clip for the Yak account. I would just sc- screen record some YouTube of me like making a joke. <laughs> just you? Did you ever? Yeah. Clip anyone else? I don't think. <laughs> yeah, bro. That's true. That's how I would have did it too. This is an official Yakagami. This is. Oh. Honor Griffin, if it holds. I watched it. So what happened was, it's the final round. It's for the number one seed. It's between the experts and the honkers. The experts are down by one, and they're going first, I believe. So. Uh, The question is something about an American Idol judge who replaced whoever when uh, this who replaced Paula Abdul when they left. Brandon was going to use his phone a friend on Nick. Him and PFT are taping together in the office in the same room. Brandon goes out to the pit area to see if Nick is here. And I guess as Brandon does, he'll sometimes talk to himself. And he's muttering the question basically. Who I'm not believing that to himself. He never. He's muttering the question to himself? Yes, I actually do believe that. You don't think he was crowdsourcing? No, I think that he's just trying to think of, like, what is the answer to this? And Katie Stats heard him and said, Ellen. Brandon then comes back into the room that he's taping with PFT. He calls you, Nick. You pick up and don't know. So Brandon's like, it's um, a TV personality. So he's listing TV personalities. Oprah, Ellen, etc. Fran then gets her memory triggered and is like, "Oh, I actually think it's Ellen." Yeah. So they he use, wasn't they muttering use, to him. They, was... they use oh, Ellen. They tie it. The next question, um, the honkers don't get, so it's going to go to overtime. No, yeah. Instead no, of it going yeah, to yeah. Brandon knew the answer. Instead of it going to overtime, Brandon comes clean and is like, "Hey, oh, I said no. this." Out in the pit, you Katie don't do Stats that actually either. answered it. How do you want to proceed? So he came clean immediately, or well, so, he waited well, to the next you, round. So if you come clean and you, it, you if you come clean, that's admission to cheating. He he said he said exactly what he did. He described it. He, he was, was like saying had, had, the question to himself, walking around the office. By yes. Katie Stats, looking looking for if you. If it was yes. anyone other than Katie Stats, but that's not even the cheating part. Confidant. The cheating part is he knew the answer and fed it into the right. atmosphere. Yeah, yes. get it confirmed. So how how the match ended yeah. was it was they were down by one as a final round so they would not have gotten that had Nick slash Fran not uh, agreed with Ellen so they agreed to lose the match. I think phone a friend needs agreed to be mixed. to lose. What the hell? Uh. They lost. It's the same. I mean, let's look at my cheating scandal. I was Which just one? repeating the the the. Uh, uh, the answer, like, I was just repeating the question out loud, just talking out loud to myself. Mm-hmm. No, I was trying to influence you, Steven. Mm-hmm. I was trying to give you information. I, I like, like he, that kind of cheating, though. He was trying, but, like, he's just going through the office, like, ask, like m- 
asking the question out loud to his closest confidant, like his his like assistant, when there was no cameras around. Like, of course, of course, he was trying to gain an advantage. And so saying like, I'll agree to lose the match, like he's being noble. Like, no. What percent of phone of friends do you think look up the answer? Yeah, because it started as FaceTime was mandatory. I yep. think. And now it's going to grab somebody. Grabbing someone, sh uh, yeah, that should be next. It's it's almost impossible getting a phone a friend to look up the answer. If you're no, not directly not. in front of a computer and ready to you're look You're on speakerphone, you Google it on your phone. Yeah. No, it, what do you mean? I, I've been a phone a friend several times, and I'm just telling you, like, you have, what is it, 20 but seconds? You're different, that's though. A that's, that's a you long time. You can do so look quick. Up anything. Yeah. If you're, practice, if, 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 you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're not expecting it, no, I honestly, no. Let's do a you practice. You can't role. type something. You type you something in ten seconds. You could type something in five seconds. And your first last, like a minute. Your first instinct should Wait, not be. Jay, ask me a question. Thing. Ask ask uh, who Kate. Is, who is the thirty eighth president? Okay. Okay. You All can't right. Google that in twenty yeah. seconds. That's that's not going to be like. Um. Oh, geez. Let me think about it. Um. I think it was, uh, Gerald Ford. Wow. I don't, I don't okay. know the answer. That was plenty probably. of time. That was so much time. She couldn't have looked that up. She, you knew that, right? Yeah, just off the top of my head. Because she couldn't have looked that up. It. You don't think you could do it in 20 seconds? It, I'm saying, if you're not expecting it, and what you're do you not... you expecting it? As soon as you... F like, it's as simple as hearing the question and then typing it into your phone. That's never a first instinct. I've been a phone a friend many times and failed a lot, but... Because you don't cheat. Because you're ethical. I'm just saying it, it could very easily Who's that? happen. Nick, Nick is calling me. <laughs> Steve, it's Nick. You're on the dozen... Uh, <laughs> This former NFL running back had a parent in the famous hip hop group De La Soul. You have 20 seconds. Is this true? See, he would have. Ray Mason. Yes, it is. Uh, See, that was five seconds. How, how did, did you, look you it do up? it that fast? I just typed it in mad fast. Wait, how did you do that? I typed in NFL running back parent De La Soul. Five seconds. That Holy was shit. Are you sure it's Trey Mason? I think it is. <sighs> what was he, a ram? Yeah, that does. Yeah, they called him Trey LaSoul. Uh, yes, Trey Mason, final answer. Thank you, Jeff. Everybody cheats on the phone of friends, I guess. Oh, you boys are cheating. <laughs> I've never, that was my first time being a phone of friends. Oh, yeah, Nick's never a phone of friends. <laughs> now, I've missed some geography ones. Throw them off your scent. I also have a, a many maps in my apartment. Oh, yeah, you could just look. Oh, yeah. yeah. But you got to lose a couple, you know what I mean? Yeah. Hmm. Oh, it should be next. I'm actually the uh, captain uh, in an all-star game for the dozen. Roan, you're not on my team. I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I understand you could only pick one. Who's person. on your team? Well, I had the second and third pick. Uh, it was a sna It's a snake draft. Six, six people to choose from. So we'll go one, two, two three, three, four, five, six? Yes. Got it. Um, But... What I did was uh, I traded picks two and three for pick one so I could get Compton. So, so you had pick one, five, six. Compton? Uh, no, I had pick two, three. No, you wound up with pick one, five, and six. I found one, yes. So you you could get your, your you could get whoever you wanted and whoever was left. Right, because I didn't want Fran to risk taking Compton. <laughs> so I had to trade up. So I got Compton. Draft day. Um. But Wait, as is, he, is he good or is, I thought he was dog shit. He's dog shit. He's pure dog <laughs> shit. That's fun. He's doing Nick's. I think doing it to make fun of Will. Um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, the captains get to make their own lifeline in this game, and mine's phone a stranger. You have two calls, and you have to dial a random number and ask them the question. I love that. Yeah. That's hilarious. Want to try one? <laughs> I do want to try one right now. <laughs> It's probably so hard to pick a number that's even like a number. Is there a random phone number generator on Google that can? And everybody's going to call them. Yeah, yeah. Well, Roan. Oh, good point. Uh, Kyle, you're the prank. You're the prank call I, guy. Well, give me is. a question. I just always go with the De La Soul one. Yeah, Trey Mason's fucking. I want. I don't want to overwhelm them with. Wanna, or how about like? Uh, if they what, answer simple. it quickly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what if it's named like three uh, like Central American countries or something like that? Name three. Name three yeah. states in the Central Time Zone. I like that. Okay. That's a good one. All right. So now I just type in a number. Well, let's pick the area code. Let's go New Jersey area code. 
Uh, well, yeah, give, me, give me Steve. What's a seven one eight nine oh eight nine oh eight nine oh eight? Then we'll go. And then just Steve, what are the first three digits of yeah. yours? Then we could just do the last four randomized. Five seven eight. And what's the last four of yours? <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> uh, tomorrow, everybody's in. It's also Jersey Day. It's dr- dr- dry dry day. Jersey Friday. Wait, say this again. Everybody's Friday. Jer- yeah. Oh, a sports jersey. Yeah. Jersey yeah. day. Dry day. Yeah. J r i d a y. Dry day. J r i. Okay. He's calling it in random number. Hi, I'm on a trivia show and got to use a phone a friend life lifeline. Um, what are the th- name three states in the central time zone? Sorry, dog. It looks like uh, death's happening. Damn. Looks like what's happening? Death's happening. Death. Death, death is happening. Looks like death. Oh, happening? that's not good, Kyle. That's such a cool way to hang up. I on think you called a reason. serial killer. <laughs> it looks like death's happening. <laughs> That's the craziest thing I've ever. Wait, I don't like that at all, Kyle. <laughs> that guy sounded. Maybe this capable isn't a good of, lifeline. Of murder. You said that you were on a trivia show. You didn't say anything about death. And then he said death's happening. <laughs> Sounds like death's I don't like happening. that verbiage. Andy has Bro. your number. Sounds like it's right. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no! That's not good at all, man. Uh, yeah. It's all right, good. call another one. <laughs> <laughs> Big time fan of John Rich's though. John What's Rich. John Rich. Hello, everybody. How we doing? What's uh, going yourself on? Looking healthy. Host chair. Looking, <laughs> looking healthy. Hey, I'm hosting. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, man. Do I look okay? Do I look <laughs> yeah. all right, guys? Lighting. I was just explaining when you looked unhealthy is when you got back from the secret project. I. That's very true. I. When I tell you about the secret project, I think it will all make perfect sense why I would look like. It will make like dying. When are we going to hear? Heroin, Do you have AIDS, a teaser whatever. right now? Yeah, I'll be honest. I believe we have a teaser that is queued up. I believe we do. What the Thank hell? Thank you, Ron. Oh, there I am. Wait, don't start it yet. Oh. Very good. Do- okay. I, that was a delicious hot dog, by the way. Farmer's The color. I'm Yours music video. Still no color in your cheeks here. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, uh-huh. I forgot about Ooh. this. My name is John Rich. This is Ben Mims' house. Let's go inside. So you went to New Orleans. We went to New Orleans, I guess it must have been three weeks ago. Me and Fasoli, um, just to give you the time, timeline of events, on a Friday, I think I emailed Hank and had this idea. I said, what if me and whoever go down and spy on Ben Mintz? Like, <laughs> we'd follow him around, like, oh, see what he oh does. God. Yeah, just like see what he does for however many days. About two hours later, Hank sent me an email that said, I'm sending you in Fasoli on Monday. And then kind of, it was a little bit threatening, said, I'm using like a certain percentage of my budget. Like it better be good. If it's not going to be That's good, just corporate go. speak. So, yeah. I got, so I got a little bit of a nice threatening email from Hank, but I yeah. think it was good. Anyway, we, we went down to New Orleans, just me and Fasoli. We, uh, I don't want to give away too much of the video, but we essentially followed around Ben Mintz. For two days, <laughs> uh, tracked his whereabouts. We talked to a handful of people who work closely with Ben Mintz, some New Orleans socialites, I guess. Okay. Uh-huh. Uh, not really socialites, but some people that know Ben Mintz. And it was yeah. a fucking great time. And then at the end, we end up confronting Ben Mintz about now, his Monday now, and Tuesday. Without spoilers, was he... B- on the easier side to spy on very very. (laughs) he is is the most manipulatable person like it took i mean again we had like no time like i figured like when i sent this email like oh yeah like it'll like be a while like we'll plan it out like we'll get him set up to do things it took like five texts and like we basically had like ben mints now manipulated to go exactly where he needed him to go correct me if i'm wrong when this comes out or people now can maybe even retroactively look at some Ben Mintz content <laughs> and see you in the background. Wait, no way. So, <laughs> I I don't know if he posted. That's actually a good question. I know I I don't think so. Okay. I don't think so. But you but were very close. I am very in the content we put out. Yes, I, you, I am very much in. The, the problem is I am so in the background. <laughs> That Wait. if he actually would have put it out, like it was, would have spoiled the whole video. Yeah, because he wasn't necessarily <laughs> the one filming. I, I was so in the background that if he even had access to the footage, I mean, maybe not. Like maybe he is that oblivious that he wouldn't have seen me. But you'll see it. Like yes, I, I was within 
two feet of bend mints or <laughs> a decent amount of oh time. My. You, now, yeah, you said I'll... you were able to manipulate him to go to places you wanted him to go? Correct. Without any contact? We had some contact. Okay. We had help. Yeah. We had some help. All right. But, like, I don't know, just, just like finding Ben Mintz's friends. The point is, finding where Ben Mintz is going is not that difficult. <laughs> we had the help of some people that are a little bit yak-related. I don't want to say exactly who, but um, we interviewed somebody who's been on the yak before. And um, that was good. Yeah, and you got back exhausted. I was exhausted, yeah. Yep, exhausted. Went directly to the tungsten. And there it is. And then the tungsten meeting, and then, you know, a picture happened. But look, <laughs> it, it, if any, anybody who follows around Benman's working hard for two days straight, 48 hours straight, you're going you're gonna to look a little rough. Wait, and is it out now? When does it come out? It's coming out tonight. I believe oh, I believe 7 o'clock tonight. It will be top of my viewing list. Yep. I can't wait to see this. 8, 8 p.m. Um, 8, 8, 8 p.m.? Okay, good deal. Sorry, I feel like they got changed. But, um, yeah, Fasol is doing the finishing touches now. It'll be out at 8 p.m. What happened there, KB? Bit my lip. <laughs> <laughs> what are you, <clears throat> John, what do you and Roan have in common? So 174 pounds. One of you is white. I, one I of got. Not. I'm thinking of something. Vanderpump Rules. I've been meaning to ask you about Vanderpump. Family rules. wise. Oh. Vanderpump Rules. Vanderpump we're both rules. part of the we're Vanderpump we're, family. We're both part of the family. Me and Jax Taylor were good pals. Mm-hmm. Are you? Oh yeah, I forgot about that. <laughs> a little bit. I mean, he's not on Vanderpump right now. No, uh, yeah, that's a shame. But no, I, I'm not sure where you're driving at. Our family. I think you're talking about Vanderpump Rules. How <laughs> Tom and Tom. Both kind of like worked together to yeah, Professor Papas. You guys both have Professor Pops. Oh, oh okay. What does your dad profess? Um, huh. His faith for the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh and, yeah, that's and, cool. And he's a professor of physics. Interesting. My dad professes marketing. Really? You did a. You had to speak to one of his classes. Yeah. What? Oh yeah. He <laughs> he's doing. I mean, it's a marketing class, so you know you can make the connection between like bar stool marketing, whatever. Uh, course basically just thought hey like john can you like come and talk to my class about how to be i don't think he used the word like just how to like make content essentially which i'm not yeah. even that fucking good so at what i just kind of got lucky your top and, tips kind of got lucky and ended up here we all got hired you had to win a competition yeah well yeah, uh, yeah I, I told him well. to, i told the him least to, lucky out of all of us i told him to enter a com- i told him to get selected for a competition and just fucking yeah. win but, no, I, I repeated the same shit that uh, they tell us in the company meeting. That, like, look, like, Twitter's dead. Nobody uses Twitter anymore. It's all TikTok. If you want to get views, post everything on TikTok and Instagram. Okay. I basically just echoed what Erica told us yeah. at that one company meeting. But, I mean, there's probably, like, lots of market research that goes into what you're regurgitating to them. You yeah, know what that's I mean? what I'm assuming. Like that's Somebody assuming. thought about that shit long and hard. Yeah. There's some kind of science behind it. They have it definitely is. There. No, I, I'm not saying they're wrong. I just figured they were right. That's How do you I feel like them. it went when you went and talked to them? I think it went fine. I think it went well. He asked me, like, any tips for people who want to get a job at Barstool. And that's such a hard question. Like, yeah. other than just, like... Gain weight. Gain weight, yeah. I mean, yeah, I, I should have gave him, like, the real advice, like, get really fat, make a fool of yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>